doctor's offices now. Dr. Van Heerden. So, yeah, I'm just waiting to go in and see what he says and hopefully he gets good news. Hi everyone. Excuse the state of me. I am just woken up. I'm at Kerry's house in uh, Joburg, staying with her for a few nights. Uh, so update. I went for a scan in Bulawayo on uh, about three weeks ago because I was having, I've been having uh, tenderness and pain in my right breast and I went for a sonar and a mammogram and just to see what it was because I did feel lumps um, just up here on the side and she sent me for a scan and on that day I was going for a scan I got robbed in broad daylight a guy came into my car pulled my hand back and um, yeah, pulled my head down to get my hand back off my shoulder slammed my finger into the door I have no fingernail literally and these are not fake nails they're my real nails so he pulled it right off by slamming it on the door so um, yeah I love that on my way for my scan and that happened so I only went the next day and when they did the scan um, they found uh, foreign objects or foreign matter on the bottom side of my right breast she said that she suspects my implants have ruptured I got breast implants in 2016 um, so five years ago and yeah, she suspects they have ruptured, but then again, she has never dealt with a sonar for implants before. So she wasn't 100% sure. She decided, okay, Malky has a doctor's appointment in South Africa on the, win on the Thursday. So I was going to go with him and just meet up with a plastic surgeon here. I didn't get mine done in South Africa. I got mine done overseas. So I can't exactly fly back overseas just to have an appointment. So um, we were coming here anyway. So... We booked our flight from Sunday to Sunday, got here, and I thought, oh, you know what, they're just going to say lymph nodes, enlarged lymph nodes, or something like that, so, because um, that's what they said to me on my very first scan, like two years ago, because I've been having issues with this for a while. But, yeah, went to one doctor, very nice man, um, I'm not going to mention any names at the moment. He thinks that... It is definitely a rupture from him feeling it and looking at the sonar and the scan. So he was basically pretty sure that it was um, a rupture. And he said it needs to come out now. But also he said the implants that I have in are called the allergen, gummy, textured, anatomical implants. And I have them under the muscle or are banned um, by the FDA because they are linked to a rare form of breast cancer, ALCL or ALDL. Um, and I was reading up about that. So um, he's taking a lot out of people that, that have had these particular type of implants. Um, yeah. So basically, those are the ones I have in. So he said, even if it wasn't a rupture, he'd really recommend them getting taken out. Um, but he wanted to do two procedures, so take it out and then only put new ones in later on when I've healed. And I didn't like the sound of that because I said, well, why must I go under twice? And why must I like heal for three months? It doesn't make sense. If you're taking it out, I'm already butchered open. <laughs> you might as well put the other ones back in. Um, and yeah, I know I, some of my, my mom and everyone else was like, just leave it, stay without them. But I've had them in now for so long and I'm literally going to be, have loose skin and like, yeah, a flat chest. And I'm just not keen for that. And also we're getting married in April. So no, thank you. Um, I, I'm not against implant. Uh, I know about breast implant illness and all that stuff. So if I do feel I'll get sick from them, then I will take them out. I believe this is just a rupture because my left breast is in pristine condition. So um, then I decided to go for a second opinion because I didn't really want to get cut open twice. I just didn't see the point of that. So I wanted to get a second opinion. I saw another doctor last night who I'm very comfortable with, very nice man. And I, we are so lucky that they, we phoned in the morning and they fitted us in on that day at three o'clock. So that was like a miracle. Just shows God's watching over me. Went to go see him and basically he said he can do it all in one procedure. I don't need a breast lift or anything like that. And he can replace them and take them out with um, new latest technology implants that are not so textured and that 
um, on number one in the world at the moment called Motiva. So the one I have in are called um, Allergen or Allergen or something like that, A-L-L-E-R-G-E-N, Allergen. And then um, the ones he's going to put in are called Motiva. So I've got an anatomical implant. He says those are not great because they can actually turn. And because they're flat at the top and have the teardrop bulb at the bottom, if they do turn, it will look really weird. So um, he's going to put just a round, moderate profile um, implant in. And at the moment, I have 335 cc's. Um, we're going to go to 380 or 400 and 25 cc's the plan and that's what's happening it was so unexpected i came here for one week thinking i was going to be home in one week leave my grand to watch my doggies and now i'm staying here for almost a month because i have surgery next week wednesday and i have to be here um to recover so he can check up on me and everything so yeah i am here for much longer than expected which sucks because I really miss my doggies, but health comes first and super unexpected, but it has to be done. So that is the booby story. I will um, vlog when I go to hospital and everything like that and the recovery, and then I'll share the surgeon's name afterwards and where I did it. See you soon, guys. Oh, I'm supposed to be excited for this, but I'm just... just was not I was not expecting it so I'm feeling a bit uh, about it so anyway I yeah I'll see you in the next one hey guys I'm just packing my hospital bag now and oh, I was looking everywhere for um button up tops and I literally could only find like and I was meant to be staying at hospital tonight but thank goodness um I said I don't want to because um, I wanted Malcolm to stay with me and he's not allowed there. So, yeah, I'll go in early, early tomorrow morning about 5 o'clock, half past 5. So, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. On the way to the hospital now. I am so thirsty. I feel like I've had, had the biggest hangover ever. I like, couldn't drink until from 10 o'clock last night and I usually sip, sip, sip all night. So, so thirsty um yeah i think we it's six o'clock in the morning now so um we're gonna get there at about half or six check in and just go over some stuff and then i think it will start at about eight um hopefully because i'm so thirsty i can't wait to wake up and drink water <laughs> um but yeah i'm hoping i'm not gonna be too sore it's just the drains i'm not looking forward to because the last time i had those Oh my goodness. Oof. I don't even know. How to, it's like. Mm -mm. Other people were like, no, drains weren't bad. They weren't sore for me. But for me, I think that was the worst part of the whole thing was taking those drains out. Oh my god. And now that I know what it feels like to take them out, I think I'm going to be. I'm, I'm like more nervous and more anxious about it now. I wish I. Sometimes it's better not to know. Um, but yeah. Anyway. We're on the way there now, bright and early, so we'll see you in the hospital. room there's two beds in here so I don't know if anyone else is staying with me I really hope not um, yeah I was in tears earlier they said no visiting hours so yeah but um, he can come from three until five or something like that so that's a bit better but yeah I'm just in the bed here waiting for the nurse I am so thirsty. It's not even a joke. I'm literally dying of thirst. Can't deal. Oh. A cute little box with the earphones in it. 
so I can watch TV. <laughs> okay, okay, the nurse is coming. See you later. How's it, guys? Hope Paul's okay there. Uh, just arrived at the hospital now and been a long day for Myra. Um, she was in theatre, wheeled through to theatre at half past eight. Um, sorry, at quarter past eight, the doctor started half past eight, four hours. Um, half past twelve, they were done. He was happy with everything. Um, so, yeah, she's been in serious pain, uh, but no pain, no gain. I'm excited. Shut up. Uh, so, yeah, I'm at the hospital with her, yeah. What do you say, Bob? Feels like a big giant elephant is sitting on my chest. Yeah. You're looking good. Good colour. Oh. The numbies are done. And I need a wee. And she's got a lovely nurse looking after her that Myra is hating at the moment. Mm, Keeps so telling her what to do. And her like, doesn't give me enough medicine. And she's very, very lucky in her own room. Beautiful hospital. Um, mm. Very, very nice view. And a bit of food for this evening. We've got freeze dried coconut chunks, which should go down like a homesick mall. Roasted butternut and beetroot salad. She's already gobbled one packet of um, pineapple and a lemonade, and then obviously a couple of different drinks. So we're on the, we're on the up and up. Can't wait to see those bad boys. Stop making me long. You have to, you have to help me weed just now. Okay. Well, I don't know how I'm going to get off this weed. Alright, magic. Why am I drooling here? No, you look good. It is perfect, oh, plaited. Oh, it looks like you've just uh, come out of a modelling contest. Ugh, whatever. Oh. So yeah, we'll give you guys an update. Visiting hours are for the next uh, two hours. And then I'll only be able to come back in tomorrow and pick up the, the prize. So, oh. yeah. Um, so we'll let you know how we go, but it'll be good. I'm sure you get an update when we out of the hospital tomorrow and Myra's in her own bed and we can give a bit of a TLC there. Good morning. Oh, day two. I'm feeling super lightheaded from the Oxycam. Oh, it's amazing stuff. But um, yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit more pressure and tightness um, in my chest area and it's starting to get like itchy and uncomfortable where my drains are on the sorry I'm trying to balance this um, where the drains are on the side of each of my like under my armpit um, yeah so just feeling um, some tightness and itchiness and um, when I did my first operation I went completely under the muscle and when I woke up I remember it feeling like there was an elephant like a baby elephant sitting on my chest but now that I've gone over the muscle it's much less um, tension and doesn't feel as heavy but it's always the drains that are the worst for me, even the last time. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm hoping to be discharged today. Um, he just, the doctor just came in here now and sort of was like massaging them. Um, yeah, and I'm hoping to go home today. He wanted me to stay another night and I was like, please can I go home? Um, but let's see what happens when he gets back and yeah that's all um, I have a nice view out my window and I have my kombucha which is keeping me very happy mm. and then I have I'm gonna have a bit more breakfast now I try to eat a little bit of salad but well it's not going down so I'm gonna try eat some brekkie now and then change and then ask Malky to come pick me up my face is so swollen I don't know why anyway I'm gonna try lie down a little bit more and 
then hopefully I get to go home. Hi everyone. I am recovering at home. It is now um, Sunday. Sunday afternoon and I've been home for Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, three nights and I'm actually feeling a lot better, like much less pain. Managed to go for a walk to Starbucks yesterday and get my um, coffee and I still have my friends with me. The drains. But they are getting less and less and the liquid's turning from blood into like a clear fluid which is all the antibiotics and liquid I've been drinking flushing out my system. But I'm going to do another video, a separate video on when I'm almost healed and um, just to go over the doctor who did my surgery and um, everything we ended up doing. But just a tip if you ever get this done make sure you get one of these airplane pillows this has literally saved my life i've been sleeping with it and because you kind of sleep seated up your neck flops this way and this way so this actually helps to keep your neck in like a nice neutral position so you, my neck is not sore at all anymore just my back's a little bit sore and i still need help getting like helping myself out of bed because it's not the hospital beds that i can just press the buttons um anymore but yeah, um, I'm hoping he's going to take the drains out on Tuesday or Thursday and then I'm hoping to fly home on Friday. So if all goes well, that is the plan. But I will make another video to catch up with everyone about the rest of my healing. Thanks for watching.